Hey guys, welcome to the ICD 10 PCS coding series. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and follow the playlist from the beginning so that you understand every concept thoroughly. This is part 22 of the inpatient coding series. And today we will learn about the importance of the root operations in ICD 10 PCS. I'm Vinay Kumar. I carry an overall experience of two decades in the US healthcare industry with vast experience in coding, auditing, training, and mentoring. I've helped many professionals in gaining knowledge and also preparing for medical coding certifications. I'm dual certified both from AHIMA and AAPC with extensive knowledge in all the verticals of the revenue cycle management and specifically coding. At the end of this learning session, we will have a better understanding of coding extraction from the first group of root operations. We will look at an example of coding from the medical and surgical section because the medical and surgical section is the most important and the biggest section in ICD-10 PCS. If you can master the medical and surgical section, then you'll be able to code all sorts of inpatient procedures at, with ease. There are 31 root operations in the medical and surgical section alone. And these root operations are divided into nine groups based on similar attributes of surgical procedures, like similar surgical procedures are grouped together. Now, today we are looking at the first group, which talks about the root operations that take out some or all of a body part. And there are five root operations in this first group, excision, resection, detachment, destruction and extraction. We have already seen what excision and resection are in our previous videos. So today we are looking at the root operation detachment which carries a character value of 6. The root operations are the most important aspect of building an ICD-10 PCS code. Remember, when you're coding surgical procedures, the root operations always define the objective or goal of the procedure. What is the surgeon trying to accomplish becomes the root operation as such. So always focus on understanding the root operation and what is the objective of the root operation. Read the definition of the root operations and compare it to the actual procedure performed. That will help you a lot in understanding what root operation you should apply based on the procedure that is documented. Now, specifically talking about detachment. So, by definition, detach detachment is defined as cutting off all or part of the upper or lower extremities. So, this root operation talks only about detaching the upper or lower extremities because all amputation procedures are coded to this root operation and for amputation procedures the body part value is the site where the detachment is actually performed so uh, out of the characters now the, for, for the seventh character the qualifier is used to further specify the level where the extremity was detached examples include below knee amputation above the elbow and uh, amputation and uh, disarticulation of the shoulder. So this way, there are uh, different kinds of amputations. All those amputations fall into this particular root operation. Okay, so uh, there are a couple of things you'll need to remember. Now, detachment procedures are coded to only two body systems overall. Okay, anatomic regions, upper extremities, which goes by the body system value of X and anatomic regions, lower extremities, which goes by the body system value of Y because amputations are performed only on extremities across overlapping body layers. And these cannot be coded to a specific uh, body system such as like the musculoskeletal or the bones or the joints as the body systems because when an amputation is performed, you're not just cutting the bone or the joint, right? There are arteries, there are veins, there are muscles, tendons, bones, 
everything is being cut off. So you cannot pick up a specific body system like the bones or joints when you are coding for amputations. And that is the reason you'll find two body system values for the second character in IC data and TCS, which talk about anatomic regions, upper extremities, and anatomic regions, lower extremities. This is where the root operation data, de detachment always is coded for the body system. Okay, so the second character would be always either an X or a Y, and the third character uh, would be detachment or six. Now, talking a little, a little more about the qualifier values for the seventh character specifically. Okay, now the specific qualifiers used for detachment are uh, really dependent on the body part value in the upper and lo lower extremities body systems. If you look at this table, the fourth character, the first one listed here is hand right and hand left. But if you look at the seventh character, the fifth is open, sixth character is no device, but the seventh character defines uh, the ray where the amputation is being performed. So this is an example of the upper extremities table. Amputation of the, at the level of the hands, the qualifiers are dependent on the ray where the amputation is performed, whether it's the first ray, second ray, third ray, or fourth ray, and whether it's a complete or a partial of amputation. Okay, and when it comes to the long bones, such as the humerus, the femur, radius, and the ulna, if you are talking about amputations on the longer bones, okay, or the tibia, and the fibula. All these are considered as extremities and the longer bones, right? So for these longer bones, coders need to always know whether the amputation at, is at the proximal portion of the bone or the middle portion or the distal portion of the uh, long bone as such. So is it the shaft or the proximal or the distal portion? Depending on that, the qualifier would, you know, keep changing to high amputation, mid amputation or lower amputation. So distal is always farther from the body, right? And proximal is uh, closer to the body. So you'll have to be careful in understanding where exactly is the amputation being performed. We look at an example of this. Now, as an example, sometimes the surgeon may use the word toe to describe the amputation, right? He may simply say toe amputation, but the operative report he might have written as the amputation extends to the mid shaft of the fifth metas metatarsal, for example. Okay. Now, in this case, the mid shaft of the fifth metatarsal would actually become the foot itself. So, the qualifier should be partial fifth ray. This is one example of how to correctly use the qualifier values. Now, let's look at an actual example of coding detachments. Now, the patient's left leg was prepared and draped. Using a fish mouth incision, the distal aspect of the thigh was entered. So they are doing the amputation at the level of the thigh. Using the scalpel, the skin and the subcutaneous tissue were incised. The muscle groups were separated and the vessels were secured and doubly ligated using three ties of zero y groups. The femoral nerve was secured. The distal femur was transected. So this is where they are doing the amputation, the distal femur, right? So the distal femur was transected using a saw and the edges were rasped smooth. Hemostasis was achieved and in muscle groups, the hamstrings and the quadriceps were approximated. They're cutting off all these things. The subcutaneous tissue was then re-approximated and the skin was closed with staples. So the procedure or this amputation was done at the distal femoral level, right? So this is the corresponding table that shows the amputation at the distal femur. The section is medical and surgical. Body system is anatomical regions, lower extremities. Then the root operation is detachment, cutting off all or a portion of the upper or lower extremities. Then the body part is left upper leg, D. Approach is open, obviously. No device for the sixth character because nothing is left inside. And remember in PCS, device value comes into picture only when an actual device is left inside the body and not a device that is used to perform the procedure itself. So in this case, there is no device that is left after the amputation. So the device value will be no device. And the seventh character would be 
low amputation. Okay, so in this procedure, the upper leg is detached at the distal end of the femur. So the qualifier value is low amputation for the seventh character. So the code for the amputation at the distal end of the femur would be 0, Y, 6, D, 0, Z, and 3. So the key points to remember are all amputations are always coded to the anatomic regions lower extremities and anatomic regions upper extremities x and y body system values and the seventh character for the qualifier defines the level of the amputation uh, performed like whether it is high amputation mid amputation or low amputation whether it, it when it comes to the fingers it is the fingers and toes or the hands and to, uh, toes, it, it talks about the ray where the amputation is performed. So you'll find the online version of the ICD-10 PCS coding manual from this link. You can download it and use for your practice. This is free and from CMS, so it's always authentic. I've also provided the link in the description of the table, I'm in mean the video, so go ahead and download it guys. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel that really gives me uh, a lot of scope and encouragement to do more videos. In the future videos, I'm going to start talking about CPT and ICD-10 CM coding as well. And then for this series, we will continue with the next set of uh, root operations and we'll also do, do the complete series for the medical and surgical section. Thank you guys.